I'm Dan O'Leary, Solution Architect at Box, part of Box Consulting. We are the folks responsible to actually make the product successful, to help customers realize happiness. And that's why for me, I think every day is a little different. Do you spend a lot of time on the phone? I find if I've sent more than three emails back and forth about a topic, at that point, let's just find 15 minutes to talk. Uh, it's actually going to save everyone a lot more time. No one likes to read you know, threads that are longer than a phone book. I want to solve problems quickly. I've taken to walking around with my iPhone. I don't like holding the phone to my ear. So I got a bright yellow, like corded retro headset. So um, it's not uncommon to see me like walking around the office talking into a giant banana phone. <laughs> How did you get this job? I met Box first as a customer. So going back to about 2009 was the first time I heard about Box and started just using it you know, as a tool for like personal productivity and started then using it for some work I was doing. And that turned into using it for my company. And I noticed that I was spending a huge amount of my time just talking about Box and why I liked it. Kind of turned into like the Jared from Subway, but for Box. So I reached out to Aaron and a couple people on Twitter and email and yeah, kind of got to build my own job here. How do you think your coworkers would describe working with you? They would probably say I'm a little crazy, a little loud, probably sarcastic. I want to make sure that we're not only doing good work here, but we're having a lot of fun while we do it. Yes, that means that when I'm on a call with a customer, I'm going to get shot in the face with a Nerf dart. Then that's okay. That's part of that's part of box. That's part of who we are. It's part of what we do. What would you say is the core thing that's important to a solutions architect being really good at their job? So in any given meeting or any given day, I might be functioning as a therapist, just helping people talk and actually for the first time in maybe a very long time, sharing why things are important to them. It might be actually documenting a process that has never been analyzed and understanding what that means. And then very frequently it's digging into your existing enterprise technology stack, your other cloud services, and from a governance standpoint, figuring out where Box fits in. And in any given meeting, it is a mix of all three of those. I've heard from a few people here that you're known for, for cat memes, spreading good cat photos. Yeah, I like to keep it fun. So, you know, when we'll get on all company email threads, I will often reply with animated cat GIFs. Um, Grumpy Cat is a, is a typical favorite of mine. And inserting it into, you know, the, the PowerPoint presentation as an animation that spirals across, so. Sometimes when you think in your mind of an enterprise software salesman meeting with a Fortune 500 company, you know, you seem to be sort of a casual, you know, yeah. person, do you <laughs> often surprise people when, when you're working? Whenever, especially I'm on site, I think the goal is to show that Box is, is professional, but a lot of the reason people pick us is because we don't hide who we are. So I want them to interact with us on a human to human level so they can really share with us what their business challenges are. So, so much of our work is like really just to get folks to open up and speak to us you know, from the heart. And once they share with us what they want to do, it's, it's kind of easy for us to interact. But yeah, it, sometimes it does take a while to break down those, uh, those barriers. What's your workspace like? What do you, how do you like to work? At Box, our desks convert from sitting to standing. Um, so I don't sit when I'm at my desk. I, I sit in meetings. So typically, you will find me pacing around the office. Um, in an average day within this building, I will walk four to five miles. So that's my cardio. Often you'll have a meeting from one end of campus to the other, and that in between is literally, literally running from meeting to meeting, trying to catch your breath, and then at some point trying to figure out like where did the last eight hours of my day go. Do you have any daily habits or snacks or drinks or anything? Before I even get to my desk, I will consume a sugar-free Red Bull, pretty typical. That's that's like the pre-7 a.m. If it's a particularly stressful day, I will combine it with a Diet Mountain Dew. Um, Honey Boo Boo calls this Go Juice. So uh, for my birthday last year, um, some of my buddies got me like a helmet. You know, normally you'd have beer in. So for me, it was sugar-free Red Bull on one end, Diet Mountain Dew on the other, and a straw. Um, wouldn't recommend that. Uh, and at the end of the day, if I've had a really hard day, it's going to be Taco Bell. Like yeah. Really sophisticated. Yeah, go juice and Taco Bell, you know. Right. It's, it's, it's really, yeah, we really keep it highbrow here. You've said that sometimes your days last from 
sun up to sundown that you're here at the office. Yeah. What are, what's that like? What are you doing? So, it, for me, um, work is a hobby. Uh, and I don't think that's common for everyone, but I just look at, at the opportunity that I have at Box. And when you have that type of opportunity, given a choice between that and sitting home and playing World of Warcraft, I'm, I'm gonna pick the former. So for me, it's, it's really about pushing myself as hard as I possibly can. But conversely, on the weekends, I'm not doing anything. The most I might move is to the couch if I'm lucky. Like last weekend, I watched all of House of Cards season two in a day and a half. And that was a fairly typical weekend for me. So you work hard and then? Work hard, lounge hard. Yeah, that's, that's the secret.